Hey guys, uh, welcome to your short um, general mini readings for all signs and sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is going to be for the full moon that is occurring in Sagittarius on May 26. We are going to take a look at what's around you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for this full moon. Um, yeah, this could be in anything. This could be in, you know, love, relationships, friendships, family, um, career, finances, spiritual development, um, personal development. We'll just see what the cards um, have to say. Um, so, yeah, and uh, we're going to go through all the zodiac signs by element uh, from uh, fire, air, water, earth, and then a collective. All those, all of that will be time stamped in the time stamp in the comment section below. Um, yeah, before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that these messages can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. And, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if any of these messages resonated with you. And um, those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so let's get started with Aries here. All right, tell me about Aries. What can Aries expect for this full moon in Sagittarius? What does Aries need to know? What can Aries expect? What is surrounding Sagittarius? What is surrounding Aries in this full moon in Sagittarius? Uh, occurring on May 26. All right, we have a Queen of Wands here. All right, there you are, Aries. Six of Swords, the Chariot, the Two of Wands. The page of pentacles i feel like you're moving on i feel like you're moving on from an old job to a new job i feel like you've gotten maybe several different offers but there is an opportunity here in regards to work yeah it feels like there's a new job an opportunity for a promotion opportunity for um you know a raise just advancement in your career here in work page of wands more aries energy again the Two of Pentacles, the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini Energy, and the Queen of Swords here again. I feel like you are going to be working under like these incredibly intellectual individuals. I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of assistive work here with these two. Yeah, it seems like this is like a, like a, like, um, I'm feeling like these are your bosses or something like that. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be kind of balancing between the two a lot. Perhaps, you know, one person is, I mean, I feel like this is going to be some, some sort of remote, remote work. Sort of relaying information between these two people. I feel like you're going to be the messenger here. Yeah, I feel like there's this energy of sort of having to be in two places at once sort of thing. Yeah, but it seems like you're, you're in this energy of... Um, moving on to new opportunities. Six of Swords, the Chariot, the Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Moving on to Leo. Tell me about Leo here. What can Leo expect for this uh, full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26th, 2021? What does Sagittarius know? What does Leo need to know? 
What can Leo expect? What is surrounding Leo regarding this full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26, 2021? on the bottom of the deck so we have pisces cancer scorpio energy here eight of pentacles ten of cups all right so i feel like you're going to be putting a lot of effort into your family here yeah i feel like you're working really hard here um i just feel like there's this energy of putting in the effort and then having a fun time after that. Interesting. We have the Three of Swords. Four of Cups. Okay. So whatever efforts that you've been putting in, it hasn't really worked out. Oh, look. Yeah. So there's stress, there's fighting here between you and your person. Um, the star, Aquarius energy, the nine of wands, yeah, seven of wands. Okay, so whatever is going on here, it seems as though there's a fighting within a family. So, you know, Leo, you might be married with someone and have children, and I feel like there is one person here is trying to put in the effort to keep this family together. But I feel like it's not working because it's like, there's fighting, there's a lot of stress here. Um, and it's actually breaking someone's heart. I, and I feel like someone is trying to find some sort of hope here because I feel like someone's feeling a bit hopeless. Someone's really hurt. Someone's really guarded here. Someone's paranoid that this relationship, this family is gonna fall apart. So Leo. This could be you or your person that's feeling this way. So just uh, take it as it resonates. Eight of Pentacles, um, Ten of Cups, The Fool, The Three of Swords, The um, Four of Cups, The Star, Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands. All right, moving on to Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. What can Sagittarius expect in this full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26, 2021? What does Sagittarius need to know? What can Sagittarius expect? What is surrounding Sagittarius for this full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26? on the bottom of the deck. Seven of Swords. Three of Wands. Hermit. Virgo Energy. The Sun. Alright, I feel like you're trying to get away to seek enlightenment in regards to something here because I feel like you're maybe confused here, trying to figure out what to do. You have temperance here. Maybe you're seeking some sort of spiritual enlightenment peace here. Um, there you are again, Sagittarius. Judgment. Strength. Leo energy. Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the Empress. Libra, Taurus energy. I really feel like you're spiritually, you're trying to spiritually grow. You're trying to evolve. You're trying to ascend here. I feel like some of you might be going to some sort of spiritual retreat. 
like a weekend getaway or something like that. Yeah, I'm just seeing a, like enlightenment, spiritual growth, spiritual journey, um, sort of like trying to build yourself back up, sort of trying to ascend, evolve. Yeah, there's this energy of wanting to get away from this Two of Swords energy. And, well, this Two of Swords energy could be a peaceful energy, just sort of like sometimes taking a step back, trying to figure things out. Yeah, but I feel like you're trying to get away. Escapes for a little bit. Seven of Swords, Three of Wands, The Hermit, Seven of Cups. Yeah, I didn't really get a bad, I'm not getting a bad vibe from the Seven of Swords. It's sort of like just trying to run away or something like that. Um, judgment, Strength, Page of Cups. <sighs> yeah, I feel like you're trying to emotionally grow up too. That's what I'm feeling here. Empress. All right, let's move on to Libra. Tell me about Libra. What is surrounding Libra for this full moon in Sagittarius? What does Libra need to know? What can Libra expect in regards to this full moon in Sagittarius for um, occurring on May 26th here? on the bottom of the deck. So confusion here. Illusions. All right, Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius Pisces energy. The Ten of Pentacles. Now maybe there is this energy where you've been confused for a long time and maybe things are becoming more clear. Three of Pentacles. The High Priestess Cancer Pisces energy. Five of Cups. Four of Pentacles, okay. Six of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, maybe I'm feeling like there's this energy of having a lot of opportunities here, a lot of options. And I feel like you sort of like, I feel like you chose the wrong one. Yeah. I feel like you were trying to trust your intuition. I feel like you chose the wrong job for you. I feel like you chose a job that paid a lot, but it wasn't really fulfilling you emotionally. And I feel like you're trying to move on from that to seek other opportunities here with this Page of Pentacles. Maybe you're trying to backtrack. Maybe you interviewed at several different places and you happen to chose, choose the wrong one and maybe you're reaching out to, to those people to see if you could accept their offer. Yeah, I just feel like the this 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 thing that this work thing that you're at right now, I feel like it's just not emotionally fulfilling for you. I feel like you don't like the people you work with. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Five of Cups. Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius. Let's move on to Aquarius here. All right, tell me about the, tell me about Aquarius. What is surrounding Aquarius for this full moon in Sagittarius? What does Aquarius need to know? What can Aquarius expect for this full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May twenty six? the full card so new beginnings here for you Aries Aquarius energy 
All right, I feel like you're feeling like you're on top of the world, I feel. Let's see. We'll get more messages just to make sure. Wow, 10 of cups, nine of cups, 10 of cups right next to each other. The Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, Queen of Pentacles, more Earth energy here, Seven of Wands, the Lovers, Gemini energy, Five of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Interesting. All right, so I'm feeling like you are on the top of the world right now. I feel like you're just on a like a like a like a happy high i guess and i'm feeling like people are jealous of that people are trying to block that block your success in life could be friends family or something like that co-workers but i feel like whatever's going on with this five of wands energy here it's stressing you out also those of you that are single and looking for a new love there is competition uh, you know people are fighting over for you I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. I feel like people are seeing you exude this like really positive energy and people are trying to get in on that, you know? Nine of cups, 10 of cups. Yeah, you have like the two happiest card in the, in the spread here. Knight of pentacles. I feel like you're very financially successful too. Queen of pentacles. I feel like you're starting to let your guard down to find new love. And I just feel like, you know, people are fighting over for you. I feel like also people are jealous of your success here. Five of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Yep. All right. Gemini. All right. Tell me about Gemini here. What can Gemini expect for this, um... Full moon in Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Gemini need to know? What can Gemini expect for this full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26, 2021? All right, the five of cups on the bottom of the deck here, we have the eight of pentacles. We have the ace of cups. We have the star card, Aquarius energy. Ace of pentacles. Two of wands. Nine of pentacles. Two of swords, okay. And the emperor. Aries energy. So I'm feeling like you had two choices to make. Like I feel like there was this offer for stability and then there was this offer that would offer you some emotional happiness or stability. And I feel like you chose the wrong thing because I'm feeling like there's a disappointment in a choice here yeah it's like you're, you're turning your back on an opportunity that you chose and i feel like this opportunity sort of affected your independence and your stability here might have might have something to do with work like i feel like there was two offers here something new there might have been an offer for love here too and maybe you chose the wrong thing and you're waiting for someone to come back. You're waiting to reunite with someone. Um, you're waiting for this person maybe to forgive you. Yeah, for hurting them. Yeah. I do feel like someone is hopeful that something could that someone might come back around. 
Maybe it's this Queen of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. The Star. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Swords. And the Emperor here. All right, let's move on to Cancer. All right, tell me about the Cancer here. What does Cancer need to know about the full moon in Sagittarius? What can Cancer expect? What is surrounding Cancer? What does Cancer need to know for this full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26th? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. All right, Queen of Cups. There you are, Cancer. All right, let's see what's going on here. King of Cups. All right, so here's your counterpart here. Soulmate Connection, Eight of Cups. Um, the Sun card, Leo Energy, Eight of Wands, the Chariot, there you are, Cancer Energy, and the Queen of Swords, okay. So, Cancer, oh wow, you were betrayed. There was some unexpected betrayal here. Um, so I'm feeling as though right now you're not in a good place because I feel like this King of Cups left you for someone else. Perhaps this Queen of Swords. Perhaps for this Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like right now you're in this energy of maybe drinking a lot to mask your pain because I feel like you're incredibly hurt by this King of Cups. This King of Cups basically walked away, um, was being really, really selfish. I feel like, yeah, and moved towards another person. And this sort of like, I feel like this came out of nowhere. I feel like you were surprised. Yeah. Mm, that sucks. All right, Nine of Cups. The Devil. King of Cups, Eight of Cups, The Sun, Eight of Wands, Chariot, and the Queen of Swords. All right, moving on to Scorpio here. All right, tell me about Scorpio. What is, uh, what is surrounding Scorpio for this uh, full moon in Sagittarius? What does Scorpio need to know? What can Scorpio expect? In regards to this full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26th. So Cancer, Pisces Energy, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Ten of Pentacles, okay, the Emperor, Aries Energy, the Star, Aquarius Energy, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio Energy, all right, the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Six of Swords, and the Hangman, Piscean Energy.
Hmm. Maybe I'm feeling like I'm feeling like you're a bit confused here, uh, Scorpio. Uh, we have these two nights here where, you know, when I see a lot of nights, it's like, you know, there's this energy of sort of like flightiness, uh, not being able to focus. It seems like there's this energy of trying to focus on uh, your home, you know, your spiritual growth. But uh, it's just like, I feel like you're being pulled in a few directions and you don't know what to do. I'm just feeling like you might have a lot on your plate here. Uh, yeah, I feel like you have so much stuff going on. I just feel like you, you're unable to complete any of the stuff, whatever it may be. You know, maybe a project, you know, home stuff, work, hobbies. Um, yeah. I feel like you're losing a bit, a, a bit of control. Yeah, it's just like, there's also, you know, this energy of, you know, you keep taking on new things, you keep taking on new things, but you haven't even completed the other ones that you took in yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like there's this, um, I feel like with the High Priestess being here, there's this energy of needing to trust your intuition, where, you know, when is when enough is enough, you know, sort of thing, because I feel like you're pushing your own boundaries here. Yeah. All right, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Star, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, uh, Six of Swords, and the Hangman. All right, moving on to Pisces here. All right, tell me about Pisces here. What can Pisces expect for the full moon in Sagittarius? What does Pisces need to know? What can Pisces expect? What is surrounding Pisces in regards to the full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26th? swords at the bottom of the deck here let's see what's going on empress taurus Ooh. libra energy two of wands all right six of pentacles uh knight of wands sagittarius aries leo energy five of wands the um, moon card cancer pisces energy queen of wands Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. So I feel like um, I feel like you're giving some. I feel like you're giving your energy to someone that doesn't deserve it, and I feel like you're in this energy of deciding whether to release this person or not. Because um, I feel like, I mean, this you could be dating this person. I don't know because I feel like the, I feel like you're 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 being played by this person here. I mean, I feel like they have secrets. Yeah, I just feel like this person um, has really poor boundaries, poor self-control. Um, yeah, I feel like there's this energy of whether, you know, to sort of like be by yourself here or continue to give to stupid shit like this Knight of Wands here or, the, or this Queen of Wands. Yeah, someone's trying to manipulate you, gaslight you into doing their bidding when, yeah, I feel like this person's out for what you have because you are coming up as the empress here. All right, 
the Empress, two of Wands, six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, five of Wands, the Moon, Queen of Pentacles, no, Queen of Wands, and the Strength card. All right, moving on to Capricorn. All right, tell me about Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know about this full moon in Sagittarius? What is surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What can Capricorn expect for this full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26th? Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. All right, Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. All right, the Devil. Capricorn energy. Nine of Wands. The Emperor, Aries Energy, and the Page of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini Energy. Whoa. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like this energy of basically using the sword from this Justice card and the Ace of Swords and cutting out someone from your life. You could be married to this person, you could have children with this person, but this person is very controlling, could be very abusive too, because I feel like, I feel like someone here is very paranoid that someone is going to hurt them. And I feel like it's this emperor. Could be dealing with a narcissist here. Yeah, very controlling. I feel like this person spies on you all the time. I feel like this person flirts a lot with other people. I feel like this person... I mean, to be quite frank, they like to sleep around. And, and you know, you might be married to this person too. But take it as it resonates. The, the, world, the worlds could be flips, but I feel like you might be dealing with someone that is abusing you. Um... Capricorn. Hmm. Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Wands. The Devil. Nine of Wands. Emperor. And the Page of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like with this person, you don't get a lot of freedom. I feel like this person watches everything that you do, um, even when they're not around, which is really creepy. All right, tell me about Taurus. What can Taurus expect for this uh, full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26th? What does Sagittarius need to know? No, nope. what, what does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect? for this uh, full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26th here. All right. Knight of, 
Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Or Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So more air energy here. Um, let's see. The Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Four of Pentacles. The Empress, Libra, and Taurus energy. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. The Three of Cups. The Ten of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. All right. I don't know. I feel like some, like, I feel like there is uh, someone that is after your money here. And... And whoever this person is, I feel like you've tried time and time again to release them. These could be your friends. Maybe out to get you. I mean, they're seeing you as someone that's generous. I feel like you have people around you that are, you know, taking advantage of you, I feel. Because I feel like you have a lot to offer and I feel like you've offered a lot to these people and I feel like they're expecting you to give more. But I feel like that's changing now. With this Four of Pentacles here, I feel like you're gonna hold on to your pentacles, hold on to your whatever you give. Uh, it could be energy too, you know? So yeah, I feel like it's become a burden because you never get anything back in return. Yeah, I feel like these pentacles that you give out, this energy that you give out, it could be energy, you know? And I, I feel like you're not, you're no longer giving, giving anymore. Uh, I feel like you have people that is trying to manipulate you to give up, give things to them or something like that. Um, Knight of Swords, the Magician, Four of Pentacles, the Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. All right, let's take a look at Virgo here. All right, Virgo, let's see. Tell me about Virgo. What can Virgo expect for this full moon in Sagittarius? What does Virgo need to know? What can Virgo expect? What's the surrounding Virgo for this full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26? There you are, Virgo. Five of Cups. You're currently in hermit mode over some spilled cups, over some disappointment here. King of Cups. Scorpio. Cancer Pisces energy. The Moon. More water energy here. Cancer Pisces. Seven of Pentacles. Judgment. Sagittarius Scorpio energy. There you are. No, that's not you. That is Piscean energy with the hangman. I just did Pisces not too long ago. Um, two of swords. And the eight of wands. Okay, let's see here. I think you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. I feel like there's this energy of you being disappointed by people all the time. As a result, I feel like you disappoint yourself because you, you know, perhaps let these people into your life, you trust these people, and they just disappoint you. There's this energy of receiving a lot of downloads and really getting clarity to some confusions that you've been, you've been experiencing here, I feel with this uh, Two of Swords and um, Eight of Wands. 
Yeah, the Eight of Wands and the Hangman, Judgment. Yeah, I feel like you're getting a lot of spiritual downloads from the universe, from your angels, from your guides. You're def yeah, I feel like you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening here. Coming to the realizations that, uh, that you know, you no longer want to give your energy to people that doesn't value it. Yeah, I feel like you've just been disappointed over and over and over again by people, Virgo. Uh, five of Cups. King of Cups. The Moon. Seven of Pentacles. Judgment. Hangman. Two of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. All right, let's finish it with the Collective here. All right, tell me about the collective. Oh, can't get the last card here. Okay. Tell me about the collective. What can the collective expect for this full moon in Sagittarius? What does the collective need to know? What can the collective expect for this uh, full moon in Sagittarius occurring on May 26th? Swords on the bottom of the deck. Something is stressing you out here. Emperor, Aries energy. Six of Cups. Okay. Maybe you're thinking about someone in the past. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the Five of Wands on the bottom of the. No, that's not on the bottom of the deck. That's the next card. Five of Wands. The world. Capricorn or any of the fixed signs. Um, we have the six. No, that's not the six. That's the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the nine of swords. We have justice here. Libra energy. Okay, so I feel like there is a cycle coming to an end here. I feel like it has to do with the courts, maybe surrounding your children, surrounding children with your ex, uh, because I feel as though there is, like, there. it's been a battle uh, here. It's, um, so I feel like there is going to be some sort of decision that's going to be made in regards to your legal situation with your children and um an ex jeez um yeah i feel like things are coming i feel like things are coming to an head i feel like there's a cycle coming to an end here i feel like all your efforts that you put in in working with these um maybe lawyers or these legal people are going to um it's going to it's going to finish yeah because I feel like you've been you've been pouring out money for uh, uh, for this a lot of money, and I, I I do see it coming to an end here. Yeah, the cycle is change. Something's changing. Something there's change coming here. I feel like you're gonna be a lot happier. You're gonna experience some sort of freedom here, freedom from the conflict, from possibly an old love, an ex, emperor. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, things are going to balance out with the Sixes here. Knight of Cups, Five of Wands. This is what you're going through or been going through, and the cycle's ending soon. Two of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So, you guys, this is your um, short general mini reads for all signs. If any of these messages resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.